Hey. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World. Thank you for tuning in. We're back to my radioactive cucumber juice that is super neon fluorescent green. Now I have them pulling out the seeds and peeling every last one of them. That's right. So here we go. So here we are on October 24th. Halloween is one week away. Ask your questions at news.therawfoodworld.com backslash live. There's not that many questions tonight. So go ask your questions. Or if you're watching me here on Facebook, um, you can ask your questions here. Let's see. I think I have to, Facebook changed a bit. I don't know if I have to like, Crystal, can you like, uh, Post a comment to make sure that I'm actually seeing them. Cucumber juice. Peeled and seeds taken out. I drink this all day long on an empty stomach. What I do personally, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I eat in a day. That's what we're going to talk about right now, since I don't have any questions. Ask your questions. Um... No, post your question on uh, Facebook, because Facebook is, is where I'm not seeing them. Okay, so <clears throat> the only time I ever drink water is first thing in the morning when I wake up. When we go to sleep, um, our bodies go through dialysis, which is a deep clen cleansing of the kidneys. <clears throat> and also you haven't eaten since dinner time and then when you wake up in the morning it's like fasting all night long and then you wake up with extra toxins in the human body and water acts as a transport medium to remove toxins from the human body so what i do first thing in the morning is i drink 32 ounces straight distilled water with nothing else um you can actually see my distiller right there going right now um that's the only time I drink regular water. I don't drink any other water at any other time. Just kind of see, yeah, works on both. Um, I was, we got two cameras here, so I was saying if I hit this here. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so I'll drink 32 ounces of water. What this does for me is it cleanses all the toxins. It just like pull, pushes it all through. I feel like my more clear-headed, my um, mucus is like being pushed through. Everything just feels really good. Now, what a lot of people do first thing in the morning is they'll drink coffee. And because you know they're groggy from the night before, they're going through withdrawals because they detox. That's what detox is. You went through cleansing. Withdrawals is cleansing, actually. You cleanse. You wake up groggy. You're like, oh, I need my coffee. One major secret you could do is like just drink 32 ounces of water, flush everything through your system, and you're good to go. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be easy because when a person eliminates coffee, they go through crazy withdrawals. And I'm not saying you don't have to eliminate coffee, but I'm just giving an example here. Um, so first thing in the morning, that's what I do as I drink water. And then I'll wait like 30 minutes, 15, 30 minutes before I do anything else. And lately I've been running again. Not every single day. My body needs recovery. Um, but, you know, four days a week, five days a week, depending on how crazy I'm going. Um, and... Depending on how I'm feeling, um, whether gender, Simba, Simba, you always do this right before a hangout, right during hangouts. You can't be doing that. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. His name's Simba. <clears throat> okay, so what I do is I take a bath probably five times a week in the morning and in the evening to where I'm sweating to the point where if I'm doing something and I kind of forget, I seriously have to get out of the bath and just lay on the floor until I could function again because I've uh, taken it to the extreme. I, you know, you guys are kind of an extremist and I do things like that. Um, but anyways, what I tend to do is if I'm going to do the bath or if I run, I can handle more sugar than normal. So what I'll do is I'll take like a 32 ounce jar of glass, I'll pour like 14 ounces of carrot, I'll put like 10 ounces of like crazy wild green juice, like alfalfa, everything from our garden. And then on top of that, 
I will add celery juice to it. And then I'll drink that, and then I go in the bath, and I just like sweat sugar out. Everything just like comes out. It feels really good. Or if I just ran, it's I just sweat like crazy, so body can handle sugar and replenish very easily. Um, and that's what I do for pretty much breakfast. Um, if I don't run or sweat too hard, um, I'll probably just drink more cucumber juice, like two of these. And what I tend to do is I take my supplements at this time also, either before or after the bath. Because after I get out of the bath, what I'll do is I'll drink two more cucumber juices because I just sweat so much. And I usually take a kinky essential. Um, I, I created this herb formula here. Um, where is it? Here's my herb formula. I took a bunch of our Ayurvedic herbs from our website, and I just threw them all in this one bucket and then I just shook it like crazy. And then um, I started getting like gray hair, so I was looking for supplements on how to reverse gray hair, and He Xiao Wu was a big one. So I took a portion of this um, and put it in here, and then I added like two bags of the He Xiao Wu. I was doing He Xiao Wu separately, and then I would do this separately, but it was taking too long. So I just put it all in here. Um, I'll take like a, little, like a quarter teaspoon of this, my brain just like perks up. As many people know, our herbs are extremely potent and powerful. Um, and I didn't do all the herbs. I chose like 10 of them, the ones that felt good to me. And then I'll take a kinti essential. I always take organosilica um, multiple times a day, so I would do that also. And I also take SOD right now, which is also supposedly good for gray hair. Uh, this right here. Anyways, so then after that, um, I'll drink more cucumber juice before lunch, and then around anywhere between 11.30 till 1.30, I'll have lunch. I, I, I don't eat breakfast. My breakfast is all that liquid. And for lunch, what I'll be doing is usually like a fruit meal, low glycemic fruit. I'll take lettuce leaves with like strawberries and papaya, and I'll, pour, I'll put like cashew cheese that I make on top of it, fill it with strawberries, the lettuce leaf, and then I'll pour almond butter over it, and then I'll eat that wrap, and then I'll eat as many as I can until I'm full. And then I have Peely chocolate here that I make from just, there's no chocolate, it's just like Peely with mesquite and carob, and chia seeds, um, which make it taste like a Nestle Crunch bar. It's got like the crunchy bit, the chia seeds. Um, I'll just eat like a couple of those maybe, um, and that's my lunch. I never snack in between meals ever. I've never snacked in between meals. Um, it's it's kind of I have this like um, OCD tendency um, to not do that type of thing because of um, I don't know I actually do think it is a very good thing to do um, when you give your when you don't overlap foods you give your liver the ability to pr um, produce more human growth hormone um, which equals like all sorts of beauty aspects and things like this. Um, and you don't get as much gas. I feel way better. Um, it's a good weight loss technique is to not snack in between meals. Um, and if you if you can do that, it's just like a really big fit. Simba. 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 What, what did I just tell you five seconds ago? We just had to talk. It was like heart to heart. I said, I'm doing a major hangout right now. There you go. Okay. Um, so what I'll be doing is not snacking in between meals. It's a good weight loss technique. I recommend it to everybody. Um, and then what I'll do is uh, wait till my food digests completely. That's not till I don't even touch anything till like five, five thirty, six o'clock, and then I just start guzzling cucumber juice again. Um, I'll probably do two of them at that point in time. Go do my thing for like. Uh, half hour, hour, and then I'll probably drink another two. And then in the evening, you know, it changes up a little bit. Like I'll change the wraps, like for example, coconut wraps are really fun to use instead of lettuce leaves and things like that. Um, different nut butters I'll use. Um, anyway, so for dinner, I'll take avocado, tomato, dulse, it's actually here for me right now, which is a seaweed. Um, put that on a lettuce wrap also. <laughs> Eat that, eat as many as I can until I can't go anymore. Usually equals one big avocado, 
onion, whatever. I might use some olives if I have like some nori nachos or I have these pumpkin seeds that are salted that I make, whatever. And then I eat that and then I just don't do anything else again until I sweat in the bath a few hours later to where I can't go anymore. I get out and then I just drink crazy amounts of cucumber juice and then I go to sleep and start all over again. And it's like practically the same thing every single day. So that's what I eat in a day. Hey, Crystal, I'm not seeing the comments on Facebook. Swipe to reveal comments. Do you, these new this technology stuff, guys, is like video only mode. Swipe left, left, right. Left. You got to swipe. Uh, here they are. Here we are. Okay. Denise, you're funny. Okay. Yes, that's what I wanted to know. Why do you peel the cucumbers? First off, it's bitter. Um, you never know what's on it. Um, it's like a way to clean it, but not. it just doesn't taste as good. Good night from Italy. Why do you drink carrot cucumber juice before you run instead of another fruit like orange? Okay, so what I do, I do it after I run. I'll get a cramp if I do it before I run. But the reason why I do that is because vegetable juices, the vegetables act as builders in the human body. They regenerate, they rebuild our skin, our hair and nail, everything. It's like regeneration and rebuilding of the human body. Fruit is kind of like a cleansing type of aspect. It's sugar, it's like even more sugar. If I'm gonna use drink sugar, I like to do carrot juice, which is extremely good for your eyes. It's good for nourishing. It's good for cleansing your liver. It rebuilds the body like crazy. That's why many people have used it for cancer aspects. So um, I will definitely make sure to do vegetable juice instead of fruit juice. I'm not a fan of fruit juice. Um, it, it's just like a high dose of sugar, the fruit juice. Um, I don't even eat high glycemic fruits much anymore. I feel so much better with, it, with little sugar. I love you, bro, but I doubt very many people could hack your diet on a daily basis. I know it. I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm not recommending this type of thing. I'm kind of crazy. Everybody knows that. And um, it's what I do. It's almost like I do it for the high on some level and also to show it's possible. You know, I, I don't have like a mental issue with all this stuff. But yeah, I agree. I'm not, you know. Infrared saunas compared to traditional saunas. I'm actually a fan, I know this is gonna hit a lot of people hard, I'm a big fan of traditional saunas that go really hot and you could sweat really fast. We actually have two infrared saunas here at our retreat and one major traditional sauna here that gets super hot. And then we have a cold pool. So you go in the saunas and then you go in the cold pool back and forth, back and forth. Now the infrared sauna, you're gonna have to sit in there way longer than this really deep hot sauna. And you, you could get way more in in a shorter period of time. Now there's all these fads that come out, oh yeah, it penetrates on the inside, then pushes toxins out. Whatever, dude, where's, where's the research? Okay, fine, maybe, whatever. It's just, I'm not like, maybe it's good for having meadows, I don't know, why wouldn't the traditional sauna be good? I don't know, maybe I should do some more research. But I'm more of a fan of the traditional. He's coming to the retreat someday, everybody. Okay, so now here we are at the news.therawfoodworld.com backslash live. We're gonna be answering all of these questions. But before we do that, um, right now, it's free shipping on our website at therawfoodworld.com until October 31st. Three lucky winners are going to win an all-expenses paid retreat vacation to our retreat center here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. All you have to do is place an order on our website anywhere between now and October 31st, and you're automatically entered in. You don't have to do anything else but order. I picked from a pool of all the customers that have ordered. And we're giving away anywhere from 150 to 250 prizes also. All this is happening on November 7th, the Tuesday night, November 7th hangout. Um, me and Chase are gonna be right here and we'll be picking everything from a hat. Um, one by one, three people are gonna win retreat vacations. Also, you can use the coupon code RAWFOOD7 for 7% 7 off. Um, also, we have that Oregano Silica promotion going on right now, which is out of control. Living libations, top living libations at cost. Freeze-dried durian is now in stock, everybody. Yep, I ordered that for my own selfish needs because um, I ran out at my place, so we got pallets for the warehouse for everybody to enjoy. 
Uh, Sim, Sim, Simba, Simba, what, 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 what? I thought that we had our conversation a minute ago. What, what, what are you doing? Simba, I'm talking to a thousand people right now and you keep interrupting. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, here, oh, 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 oh. there you go. Okay. Okay. So, um, also we have, so we have October and November's at cost specials going on right now. Now is the best time in the month to order. Get in on this contest. November 7th, everybody's going to be watching. Me and Chase are going to be picking 200, probably around 200, 150 to 250 names out of a hat. Last time, I think everybody had like a one in six chance of winning. We just wouldn't stop pulling out names. So anyways, um, here we go. We're moving along. So someone is asking me, okay, what do I think of the McDougal diet? I think the McDougal diet, I don't know the exact details, but I know of the guy, and I think it's probably really good. There are a lot of diets out there on the market that work extremely well. Like, and to be honest with you, they're all the same in, with one aspect. Um, they all have one common denominator on all the ones that work. For example, there's a paleo diet fad, the maker's diet fad, the South Beach diet fad, the zone diet fad, the blood type diet fad, the McDougal diet, all these different diets, all these people are claiming to get results, losing weight, healing from disease. And to be honest with you, I've seen people do really well in all of them, including the McDougal diet. And the reason why they do also do so good is because, because they all eliminate certain foods from their diets completely without exception. It's not rocket science. And the crazy thing about it all is all those diets out there that we just talked about that work and all the other ones that work, they all eliminate the same exact foods, which are refined sugars and processed starches. Those are the two most damaging foods to the human body. As soon as they get introduced, statistics show this, to third world countries, what happens is obesity rates skyrocket, degenerative disease skyrockets. As soon as the pharmaceutical companies get into these countries, it's over for them. So what I'm saying is, um, yes, the McDougal diet's good. They eliminate refined sugars and processed starches. Anybody can make a diet. I can make up a new diet fad. Just eliminate those foods and I can create all the rules I want. For example, the paleo diet goes a little step further. They eliminate more foods. So they say, this is okay, but you know, and then there's other diets. There's like, you know, this is the concept here. We just all want to eat healthily on an ongoing basis. It's the best health insurance we can possibly have. Okay, so moving along. Hey, it's 1.27 a.m. in Malta, so not sure how long I will stay for. Just want to say hi, really, and love watching your videos. You have good vibes. Awesome. Let's move along. Hi, everyone. Hey, Anina. Why do you use care? Okay, that you were on both sides. See ya. Okay. Luke writes, what's, what's your thoughts on tofu or soy products? I've heard, you, I've heard it's good for you if you buy organic soy products, but it's not, but if it's, not it's bad for you, which makes sense, but there's some people that say don't eat it at all. What do you think? Okay, so we created a diet, a whole foods diet for people to follow. Like we've looked, I've, I've researched all the diets out there on the market, the ones we were just talking about, the zone diet, the macrobiotics diet, the South Beach diet. And some of them eliminate more foods, but they all eliminate the same foods, but some take it to further levels. We created a diet to where if you eliminate everything from your diet, but what's on this list, congratulations. God willing, you're going to not end up on pharmaceutical drugs, not end up senile in the long run, and not end up incapacitated. That's why we want to eat healthily, eliminate refined sugars and processed starches. Because if you don't, over a long period of a lifetime, we become decrepit in the long run. Dr. Fred Bishi, who's been on a raw diet for 55 years, he's still running at almost 90 years old on the beach mile every day. I just got off the phone with him. Like, I couldn't believe how good his skin looks. He's like, you know what he said to me? He's like, he's like, Matt, uh, he's like, you have no idea how lucky you are to be on this diet pretty much. Like, he was pretty much saying like, you don't have to worry about certain things. It was, it was just pretty cool. But you could also do that on a cooked whole foods diet. You just want to eliminate the bad stuff. So tofu um, is a soy product. Soy was actually, like soy milk and things were like this, was on this diet, but too many people complained about it because of beliefs and stuff like this. Um, there's a GMO aspects also. Um, but it, it, it's, like the, it's like a borderline thing. Some people do well with it, some people don't do well with it. 
Um, me personally, um, there are lots of clinical studies on soy saying it's bad and lots of saying it's not good, that it's good, but there's something in soy called phytohormones, phytoestrogens, that um, is what is the controversial aspect about it. The thing is, though, clinical studies show that the phyto phytoestrogens from soy do not activate the same receptors as the estrogen from the toxins, from GMO stuff, from the air, from endo, from all of those EDs, like all those, um, all, all the bad stuff we're breathing in can cause bad estrogen. And there's like alpha receptors and beta receptors. So the, the soy estrogen, Phyto hormones actually bind to the stuff that's preferential. For example, in petri dishes, um, in cancer cells, the soy estrogen fights for the against for the receptors compared to the bad estrogen that actually causes cancer and actually can help with breast cancer. In this clinical study, it says it has the potential to is what it says. Um, of course, I'm not a doctor. I'm just talking about everything from experience. Make sure you, before you make any changes, you speak to a doctor. Um, but it depends on what where you're coming from with all of this. So here we go, moving right along. <clears throat> Hi, we are hearing you. I want to advise others, but I myself are having trouble adhering to raw or vegan life. Any advice? What's up, Laura? She's saying hello also. Okay, so raw vegan. Okay, first off, I really recommend this type of diet that I'm on. Um, number one, I have to supplement on an ongoing basis um, for various reasons. Number one, B12 is not easy to get. I'm wearing our B12 patches right now, which are available at therawfoodworld.com, which have been banned by the FDA, but we're kind of undercover right now. Uh, they haven't sent us a letter. They've just been sending them to other companies. Um, DHA and EPA, of course, um, ALA is found in all of our nuts and seeds. These are all omega-3 fatty acids. ALA converts to EPA and DHA in the human body. Um, however, many natural doctors are saying it doesn't do it enough. Um, I don't necessarily know if I believe that. But anyways, I take DHA um, just to make sure I'm covering my grounds. Um, I like to eat fat also. But also, um, on a raw food diet, you can't get the the fat soluble vitamins like the ones that like the, like for example vitamin a the full vi the whole vitamin and vitamin d um and vitamin e you can't get them in on a raw food diet many people are saying what are you talking about all of these vitamins are in carrots for example you get all the vitamin a you want from carrots well first off carrots don't have vitamin they have vitamin a they have beta carotene beta carotene is a pre-vitamin and then retinol and stuff like that. These convert to vitamin A in the human body, but you're gonna need a lot of it for it to convert in the human body to get the amounts that we need. So I am kind of forced to drink vegetable juices on an ongoing basis because I don't eat animal products, which we can easily get these, um, the full vitamins, the fat soluble vitamins are extremely hard to get. So, that's another aspect. These are just certain aspects, but then it goes way beyond all of that. For example, if a person were to, who, have been, who has been drinking coffee for 20 years, eliminates coffee from their diet, all of a sudden, after a few days, they're gonna go through withdrawals. They're gonna, they're gonna get shaky, their hands are gonna shake, they're gonna get the coffee breath, they're gonna get the headache, and they're gonna go nuts up. And they usually, most people can't stay off the coffee because they're addicted to it. So if you think the coffee drinker has it bad when they eliminate their coffee, now imagine what happens when you eliminate all of these dense foods from your diet all at once. Okay, we're gonna eliminate refined sugar, processed starches, and we're gonna eliminate coffee. I'm just going 100% raw overnight. Um, also, we're gonna eliminate uh, trans fatty acids and so many things. You're going to go through so many withdrawals and detox that you're not going to mentally be able to handle it. You're going to be like not able to control yourself. You're going to feel like a crack addict and you're just going to like binge on crazy on Twinkies because you can't handle it. So my recommendation is to go slowly, just eat a cooked whole foods diet and 
enjoy. And I just skipped all that. I didn't even get to eat all those fun foods. But um, yeah. So moving along, right along here. So my advice might be to not go so extreme with raw or vegan. Um, I know there's probably a lot of vegans watching, and I always apologize about this, but um, if you were to look at what the human body does with food, let's take a look. When you eat protein, you break down the food into amino acids, and this helps rebuild tissue and re re rebuild the body. You eat fat, it breaks down into fatty acids. This is huge for our brain for rebuilding the body too, and our tissues. If you eat sugar or starches like bread, all this does is it breaks down, starches breaks down into fiber and glucose. It doesn't do anything to rebuild the body. It gives the cells energy. It breaks down into sugar, which gives the food energy. And everyone out there today is talking about that glucose, the sugar is what's causing Alzheimer's, causing diabetes, causing all sorts of issues in the body, and more of a high fat diet not necessarily high fat, but just like more fat is more beneficial for the brain. The brain feeds off of fat. It like uses it as fuel. It's like one of the best things you can possibly do. There's a pharmaceutical drug for Alzheimer's called Exona MCT, which is simply fat, MCT oil, to help that person. So many people are on this like vegan kick and it might not necessarily be the best thing because many people like when they go vegetarian, they eliminate animal products, which are whole foods and not bad for the human body, they help build the human body, and we'll get to that in a second, and then they load up on starches and carbs and things like this, which isn't necessarily the best for the human body, especially refined sugars and processed starches. Vegetarians will eliminate that and eat refined sugars and processed starches, they're in even a worse place. Now, I'm not saying we want to hurt animals or do anything like that, but if I were to go backwards, I don't want to say backwards, that makes it sound bad, if I were to like start eating more heavier foods, I would personally do it not for tasting purposes, but for the purpose of trying to help my body re to build, regenerate, do everything I can to live longer and be healthy and feel good. And there's no way I'm going to be going to quinoa, starches, bread, pastas. That doesn't rebuild the human body. It just gives you energy. I would go to the animal products that don't, doesn't harm animals. I would go to eggs. There's, not, there's no harm in eating eggs with people. I don't eat eggs. But I'm just saying if I were, the next food I would eat is very beneficial would be eggs. My children are 100% raw and they also eat eggs. Not raw, but they eat 100% raw and they only do the yolks cooked. That's, so they eat 100% raw and the egg yolks. They're growing girls. They need all that nutrition in that egg yolk. I'm not going to play games for the raw food realm on my children. It's just not what I'm willing to do. Me personally, I've got to like supplement with all sorts of stuff being on a raw food diet. So I would go to eggs. And then the next thing I would eat would be like goat's cheese or goat's milk product. This stuff is like really good for the human body. It rebuilds it. It's good for the gut. It has bacteria, good beneficial bacteria. It has all the nutrition that you need, the omega fatty acids, all these things. It's like it, this is rebuilding the human body, nourishing the human body. And that's where I would go if I was going backwards. So um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so moving along. Vegans hate me, even though I am one. Okay. Hi, Matt. Recently ordered the Superfoods kit, but the Rishi is out of stock for a bit longer. I know. We're, that is coming in for December's at cost specials, so it should be here in a month. Um, that stuff is incredible, especially when I'm sick, I just load up on that stuff and it just knocks it out with the camu powder. Um, should I wait till I have all the superfoods or can I start the program without it? You can definitely start the program without it. That is straight for immunity. Um, you can also order the Rishi Spore powder, which we do have in stock in the meantime. Um, I have to tell you that Brianna and the Camry off, where I was off him, she's really a treasure. Awesome. What about doing wheatgrass juices every day? That reversed the gray hair on Ann Wigmore. Yeah, I think wheatgrass juice is very good. Um, how do we know it reversed the gray hair on 
and Wigmore. Did she say this in a book or is this what people said? I've heard that too many times. It's part of the raw food Bible. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I could try that. Um, it's not easy, I guess. Yeah, I could get wheatgrass out here if I really tried. I don't eat soy because it's heavily processed and I don't eat processed foods. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, so someone says, I'd like to know if you'll sell the product with the 10 herbs that you mentioned, which is this right here. All you have to do is go on our website and choose 10 herbs, get a big jar like this, throw them all in there. If any of it got stuck together due to um, condensation, put it in the blender first and mix it all together. Probably none of it would be that, the fresh stuff. I just had some here that have been open for a while. Shake it all together and then you're done. I put shilajit, macunya, bacopa, Google or Google, um, what else did I put in here? Sisis, um, turmeric. Uh, turmeric kind of makes, makes it taste intense. It's the an extract. I don't know if I would have done that again. Um, I'd have to look at them all. But I, I just took like the ones that sounded the best. Okay. Simba isn't speaking English at the moment. It's a cat thing. Yeah, I know, Lori. I, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Um, any tips for keeping blood sugar levels stable? I have insulin resistance and keep my blood sugar stable always seems to be a challenge for me. I eat low sugar fruit and I only love greens. Should I up my fat intake? One of the funniest things that they recommend is um, at the doctor's office when you have diabetes. First, if you go to the diabetes um, website, you'll get diabetes myths. It tells you it's like you can still eat refined sugar and processed starches, just portion control. But anyways, um, the doctors usually recommend have a bag of candy with you, and then whenever your blood sugar like is off, you just eat some candy to do what you gotta do to balance out. Um, what we have to do is, for example, um, when I was in my early years of uh, eating raw foods, I couldn't control myself on eating sugar fruit, and I would literally go to fig trees and just eat them as much as I possibly could in my neighborhood. And there were times where it was like time, it was at that time, for me to go and eat my lunch. And all of a sudden I would start shaking. My blood sugar was off. And I was like racing the fig trees so I could just like pound down more. I was like, oh, I feel better now. And I knew that this, that wasn't healthy because my body was reacting. I was seriously shaking. So I just decided to eliminate that habit. And then immediately after a couple days of shaking, um, I was back to normal. So, You know, I, I don't know what your habits are, what you're doing, um, so I don't know what to help you with there. But if you are eating healthily, you're not overdoing anything, you're not eating refined sugar or processed starches, then everything should balance out, is what I would say. Did you certify your macadamia nuts organic? I noticed that it says organic now, which is wonderful. Either way, could you add that to your November ACOS specials, please? Um, November's ACOS specials are done. The macadamia nuts were always certified organic. However, there was a very special batch of the Hawaiian macadamia nuts that comes around us every once a year. And we tried to like put it out there for everyone to try. They were more softer and more fresh and people weren't having it because they're used to their macadamia nuts that we always had carried. Um, so we just stopped that. Those were the only times we never did organic macadamia nuts, but the ones that you're eating have always been organic. Okay, what do you recommend for sticking with a healthy raw diet during times of stress? I feel like I do fairly well sticking with a routine until something difficult happens in life and I get off track. Okay, so my question would be, how long did you go raw for? And again, you don't need to be raw to be healthy. How long did you go to raw, raw for before you reached stress? Because if you become a raw food eater for a long period of time, your body changes and adapts. So you really can't, I personally, it would be very difficult for me to go and eat something during times of stress. Maybe I'll have chocolate or something like that. I don't know. Um, 
but the main thing, so my, my question is, is it like because of stress or is it like an ongoing pattern? Because many people, they, they start eating really healthy, they feel really good, and then the withdrawals and detox comes in, and then they can't control themselves. And then what they do is they'll just like binge like crazy. They go raw for as long as they can, and then it's almost like starving themselves on some level, or not starving themselves, but like um, suppressing so much. And then all of a sudden, hell breaks loose. We t what I recommend is watching last week's Hangout um, because we went into great detail of what to do in this moment in time. What's happening is when a person can't um, control themselves to the point where they've lost control of their body and they can't choose what to put in their mouth anymore. So what is happening here is um, normally you are experiencing, normally this is from withdrawals or detox or stress like you're talking about. So what's happening at this moment in time is a suffering and pain is happening on an energetic level. And we don't want to face it. So what we will do is we lose control and we'll eat like crazy. And then what happens is another energetic component comes into the mix and makes you feel guilty. The guilt is worse than the actual act of what you did. Because when you feel guilt, you go into that loop. It's almost like an obsession. And then you obsess about what you just did. And now, like, you just had food. What's the big deal? You, because you consider it bad, um, you have to go through guilt and make yourself suffer. And what's happening is on an energetic level is you're being completely drained by like these like foreign energies. I'm not going to go into what that is right now. Um, as many people know, as we just opened a every Thursday, I'm doing uh, the spiritual health, spiritual dynamics of health dot com. Every Thursday, spiritual dynamics of health dot com. Every Thursday, I do uh, um, thir starting this Thursday. I do a Thursday night hangout on the spiritual aspects of this type of stuff. So I'm going to save all that for this. Um, it's $20 a month. You just go to spiritual Simba, right? When I'm giving the URL, come on, dude. Spiritual dynamics of um, one hangout per week, every Thursday. Many people have heard me talk about these things on the hangouts, but a lot of many other people don't want to hear that stuff. So that's why you hear me only talking about the physical aspects and health and soy and all these things here. Um, and I'll touch on a little bit about the emotional and spiritual stuff here also. But um, that's where we're going to be doing that every Thursday night. So if you want to sign up for the first one, um, go there. As many people, if you were listening to my story that I shared a couple weeks ago, um, as many people know, Angela and I divorced and I kind of just came out with the entire story of what really happened with Audio Clarity um, how our paths kind of changed um, and all these different things. Um, I also talked during my trials and tribulations, I started bleeding um, into the toilet um, every single day on an ongoing basis for a long period of time. I tried everything to heal myself physically and the only time, way I could actually heal myself was spiritually until I looked at, I couldn't, for a year, I couldn't do anything until I looked at that. And it wasn't until I looked at that until I healed myself. I talked about this in great detail in two hangouts ago. It's called How I Healed Physically, Spiritually. You can look at that hangout on my um, YouTube channel. Um, but so anyways, this Thursday, the first topic is going to be, it's only going to be like brief when I talk about it. Um, we're going to talk about why I was not willing to go to the hospital and why I would refuse any doctors. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't go to the doctor, um, even though I was bleeding in the toilet every single day. Um, that type of thing doesn't scare me, number one. And number two, we're going to talk about that during that first hangout. Like, what I would go to the doctor. That's what we're going to talk about in the next hangout. Anyways, um, and you can hear my standpoint on all of that. So back to this, where we can't control ourselves. So what we want to be doing at this moment in time is when we eat the food, when we can't control ourselves, we have to actually look at it as a success. Most people in today's day and age, what they do is they eat really poorly watching TV, they eat potato chips, they have no consciousness behind what they eat. 
they don't care. The doctor says do whatever you want. It's fine. So they do whatever they want and they're happy and they get their bare bellies and whatever happens. They end up on pharmaceutical drugs, yada, yada, yada. So because that you're making an effort, nobody gets to experience this but you but and people who are making an effort, you get to the point where you're doing really good, you feel really good, but then you go through the withdrawals and detox to where you can't control yourself. That's actually a huge success. No, not many people get there. So when you eat and binge, it's fine. You're doing great. Just don't go into the guilt mode because then you probably will get reset and go and eat what you used to eat on an ongoing basis and just give up because you'll just like go, woe is me, woe is me. It's kind of like we want to look, I talked about this last week. We want to look this, at this almost like as a video game. You made it to the dragon. You, you're fighting the dragon in Mario Brothers. You made it to the end. You're trying to learn how to control this dragon. He shoots two fireballs. At this time, you know how to jump, and like if you jump too soon, you might mess up. You're learning all the different aspects from this dragon. He stays down here, he shoots. You're like learning every, you have to learn every last aspect in order to pass it. But then he hits you, you die. What happens? You just go back to the beginning and you start over. So when you eat poorly, don't go into guilt. Go back to the beginning and just continue to eat the way you've been eating. And you're doing really good when you do that. And then when you get to this point where you can't control yourself anymore, you made it back to the dragon. And now what we want to do in the video game is the same exact thing, is try to understand every little aspect on why we lose control. What is controlling you? So what we want to do is we want to focus. And when you focus, you can kind of like feel your entire reality and see what's going on. It's kind of like meditation on some, on some level. So you meditate, you focus, and you don't want to eat this food, but you feel something. There's a pain and suffering. All that is is energetic vibrations coming into your reality that is getting you to suffer and eat the food. So that, that thing is actually controlling you is what's going on pretty much. But that's what we talk about on the Thursday Hangouts Uncensored. So what you want to do is kind of like feel it all. Like, okay, so this thing is like – painful, learn the energy, feel it like, wait a minute, I could stand up to this thing. And then like, maybe you actually do it. And you don't eat that time. And then like a week later that it's happening again, then you fail. Don't go into guilt because then that thing is just coming back and guilting you. And then, okay. So you just keep doing this and then you, you just don't fall off track. You just got to keep going. It's your will. It's your willpower. And it's like, uh, it's like the willpower and desire and intent and focus to understand all elements at play when you can't control yourself. When you're stressed, why are you stressed? Usually that's an outside energetic thing also. What's there to be stressed over? What, did, what, what does worrying do for anybody? There's many different scriptures out there. There was one that was saying like, what does worrying do? It won't like we'll add one cubit to your stature. It does nothing. So it's, I mean, it's like physical, spiritual, that's what, it all, it, all, it all comes together. It all comes together. Psychological. Okay. So that's the answer to that question. Simba is really cute. Okay. So come over here if I say something. I know, I know, I know. What's up, Elise? Okay. Um, okay. Do you put a new B12 patch on every day. How often do you use it? My doctor is giving me B12 injections once a month. Can you shower, shower with them on? Yes, I shower with them on. Um, I usually go for like a month or so without putting on because I forget. And then when I'm like, oh, there's B12 patches, I tend to put them on like every single day for a while. It's like I get my B12 hit and then I stop. Um, I have a new product coming out most likely. I'm doing like crazy research right now because you know the FDA is banning B12 patches. And I'm trying to find um, replacement sources, but I've, I've stumbled upon something that I'm waiting for the sample. This could be mind blowing, um, but just give me another couple weeks. This might like change the way vegans look at B12. Anyways, everybody. Uh, anyways, that's coming next week. I mean, not next week. My sample's coming next week, and. Uh, can't say anymore right now. But in the meantime, we still have our B12 patches. If you're getting your B12 shots, that's fine. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Matt. Do you have ideas on soft raw foods? 
I have a lot of missing teeth and just started eating mostly raw, yet I lost weight and I am naturally thin, so I'm hoping to gain a little back. Also, can you tell me, does organo plant silica help with bones, joints, hair, and skin? Okay, so if you go on a raw food diet, it is such a huge transformation compared to what we used to eat that the density is way less. So if you were to eat a burger from McDonald's, it's like this big. But if you were to eat a salad this big, you blend it down, you could get it to the size of this, and it's mainly water, it's still not as dense. So you're gonna lose weight. It's like you're, drink, you're eating like 90% water on a raw food diet. Um, but anyways, you're gonna lose weight, there's no void in that. I lost weight, I was freaking out at first because everyone thought I looked weird, but new people who never saw me before thought I got invited, to, like I got a business card from someone, like a model agency just off the street. Um, this was many years ago. Um, uh, Simba, Simba, come on, that's your butt, that's your rear end, right? You just, you just mooned like a thousand people. Okay, anyways, um, there's many soft raw foods. Obviously, avocado is a big one to help with weight gain. We don't get too skinny. All the fruits are soft. Um, instead of eating nuts, you eat nut butters. I eat them all every day. You get nut butters, and then you can, and if you could get real, the stone ground ones for really long periods of time, that will be really good for you also. Okay. Okay, so you had some other questions. Um, also, can you tell me, does the organosilica, which is something I just drank right before this, help with bones, joints, and hair skin loss? Okay, so we're, we're always bringing new products to the market. For example, CBD oil has been huge. People, every hangout, people are saying it helped. My, I had back pain, 80% gone, like I couldn't even walk. I'm off of opioids painkillers, all these different things. But then there's some people who it doesn't even work for. Many people are saying it helps with migraines. So the benefits of CBD oil is it activates all sorts of different receptors in the human body, CB1, CB2, serotonin, trip receptors, which is why it's, that's responsible for pain. It activates cancer cell receptors to kill, it kills them in clinical studies, it helps with sleep, um, it helps with calcium uptake receptors, they're called like GRP5 or something. Um, anyways, it does all of these things. But if someone has a migraine, because the average American eats 20 tablespoons of refined sugar every single day, if their issue for that migraine is eating 20 tablespoons of, my, of the refined sugar, maybe they are activating those receptors through other means, and the CBD oil is not going to do anything. The best bet for that person is to eliminate the refined sugar to get rid of their migraines. But then there's all these other people where the, these receptors aren't being activated, and it acti when you activate a receptor in the human body, for example, if someone we, we all know about insulin receptors, when we eat sugar, the pancreas sends insulin to activate the receptor to allow the sugar into the cell. It creates a chem positive chemical reaction to create a task. So when you eat just CBD oil and you activate serotonin receptors, it's creating um, a task for the serotonin receptor to activate and do something, maybe like take in serotonin, maybe create serotonin. Um, and pain receptors, maybe it's, it's, it's activating to where it's like, okay, no pain. So many different possibilities and scenarios here. So now when we look at the organosilica products, many people know this, um, I was blown away. <laughs> okay, I cut my hair recently. But I started taking this organosilica product off, to, off, off of a whim, and my hair would never grow past a certain point, and it grew to my belly button after taking it every day. I seriously cut my hair, I think it's five, six weeks ago now. Um, my front hair is, is shorter than my back hair. My back hair goes all the way down here. So I showed an image, go to my, uh, my hangout when I cut my hair. I think it was October 19th or 8th, no, September 18th or 16th, 18th, or 19th, or something like that. And it was literally, this is like six weeks ago, it was literally up to here or something, and it's already like, this is ridiculous. Look at the hangout. Look at the hangout. It was a little bit more curled, but I don't care if it's like this much curled, it's still, my hair is growing like ridiculous. I, granted, I'm eating, let me show you these, so look at the bottom.
I'm like, I drink, I've seriously been doing a bottle of this one now once a week. I just, I, I just finished this one actually before the hangout. Whenever I drink my juices, I'll just grab this and it's like, there's a little bit more in there. And I'll just like take like a couple tablespoons and it's making my hair grow like crazy. It's silica. It's um, the most bioavailable silica in the world. Right now, everybody knows we have this on special. We actually have a crazy deal. It's like at cost, which means 30, 37% off. And you could get one, buy three, get one free. And it's free shipping. And you can use raw food seven, seven percent off. You can literally get each bottle for twenty dollars on Amazon. You cannot get it less for four, than forty dollars, and we have free shipping. Um, it's just like crazy deal right now um, at therawfoodworld.com. But um, so this silica is extremely bioavailable. It's also been shown in clinical studies to remove heavy metals when you in human studies. When you drink silica, you see all of this aluminum in the urine. They did clinical studies on animals where they gave them a low calcium, low silica, high aluminum diet, and their brain had all of this aluminum deposited into their brain. And then they gave the same animals or different animals the same exact diet, but they raised the silica to high doses and kept calcium low and kept aluminum high. In the brain, they had no aluminum deposits anymore. I can get you that clinical study if you want. Um, so it helps with that. Um, silica is critical for bone health. Um, there's a bone matrix that calcium, people think calcium is the number one thing we need for our bones, but I honestly believe it's the silica. There's a bone matrix which is composed of collagen. When you take this product, all of our bones and teeth have a bone matrix. When you take this product, it has been proven in a clinical study to boost collagen levels by 19%. So you have this bone matrix that's formed of, with is basically majorly collagen, um, and then the calcium salts are simply deposited into the bone matrix. It's just calcium salts. That's what calcium does. You're, you're, you're putting the calcium salts in. And clinical studies show that when people have bone loss issues or serious problems, silica goes down by way more than calcium or boron or anything else. So anyways, um, this is extremely good for bones uh, and also joints. They did a clinical, they actually, this company did a clinical study on many participants that um, had arthritis and many other arthritic problems. Like 50 to 40% of the people who had knee or knee and elbow issues, it went completely away. 77% of the people had greater motion. There was just like all, it was crazy. Um, and we also have a silica gel with people for arthritis. They had incredible results by people taking high dosages of this, two tablespoons twice a day of this, and then putting in the affected areas the, the silica gel. You can actually choose to get a gel free or this free with this promotion at therawfordworld.com. Just go to therawfordworld.com, type in Organo. Dude, I'm, on, I'm just like a million miles per hour tonight. And then, what they would do is on the at evening, I was talking to Joan who works at Organo Silica. His name's Joan Mark. Um, he they would have issues with the, he had so they've had so many positive results, hundreds of people. Um, they would put the silica on at night, you put it in until complete penetration until it disappears, and then they would put another label, I mean another um, layer on, and then they would wrap saran wrap around it to where it's like all sweaty and liquidy, and they would sleep with that. And they had crazy results with that. Like it would just like absorb in all night long while they're getting crazy amounts of silica um, every single day. So what happens is if your body doesn't get enough silica, it's going to be utilized for the major components, vital organs, our immune system, our heart, our brain for these necessary tasks. And then other aspects are going to be lacking if we're not getting enough silica, such as our beauty. Are, it's responsible for collagen, skin, hair, nails, and things like that. So if you're getting an overabundance with this, since it's completely depleted from our soils with what they've done with GMOs and how the soils are depleted of minerals, you start taking this every single day, you're going to be getting an overabundance of silica, and then hopefully, like me and my friends, I, I'm looking at friends, I can't believe how long their hair is now. From my suggestions of taking this on an ongoing basis, I'm just like, seriously, they've been taking it for five or six months? Hair is longer than it's ever been before. Um, then all of a sudden, you're going to start utilizing it for your vital needs. 
and then you're going to be using it for other things such as our beauty our skin will probably look better our hair is going to grow longer our nails will grow faster um, you'll have to cut your nails more often um, I'm excited about it my hair has been getting thicker because of it not because it thickens hair I'm not saying it does that but what happens is every human being it's known I've talked to barbers and things like this we lose about nine hairs every single day that's why like if you haven't showered in a week you have like 63 hairs in your hand and you freak out crap I'm going balding but anyways what happens is um, we lose our hair, everybody does that, it's natural, but if your hair is growing more rapidly, um, I noticed that my hair was thick up here and then it got thinner, thinner, and thinner down to here, so I'm cutting my hair more often and everything's catching up and my hair is becoming more thick again. So it's like really thick right here again, finally. And it, it's like thick all the way to like right here. I'm like excited to get to this point to where everything is like grown out to there. And then my hair is gonna be like super thick again. I used to have dreads. I just had people pull them out at one point, and my hair just became thin since then. So, um, yeah. So I do believe if you go to the raw, go to my YouTube channel, and type in Organo, and I did three videos. The first one is about the beauty aspects. The second one is about all these other things: heavy metals, joints, bones. And then the third video is, is talking. It gives the exact procedure on what how to do how, what they did in this clinical study for arthritic conditions where people have been having amazing results. But in the video, we took it to the next level by talking about that Saran Wrap aspect. And the gel is free on our website when you buy three of these, or you can get three and buy, if you don't want the gel, you get one of these for free. It's the best deal we have right now. And it's all good till October 31st, free shipping. Raw food seven for 7% off. All these specials, November and December, November and October is cost specials. We've got freeze-dried durian back in stock, which I'm extremely excited about. I'm in Ecuador. I have to wait for it to get here. Okay, anyways, I am, like, behind. Okay. Are carrots a hybrid food? I also hear distilled water is not good for the body. Do you recommend alkaline water? <laughs> what model and make is your distiller? It's a WaterWise 4000. You would never see me put alkaline water into my body. Um, there's that big uh, Kangen thing that is like a huge MLM. They're going to try to convince you in every way possible. Um, everybody wants alkaline as much as po alkalinized as much as possible because of uh, the pH miracle that came out like a decade ago. So everybody's on this like. Anyways, um, there are so many alkaline aspects and acid aspects that no people that people don't understand. What are we talking about? Are we talking about our urine? Are we talking about our saliva? Are we talking about our stomach? Are we talking about our gastric juices? Are we talking about our blood? Um, for example, our stomach is supposed to be between one to three pH acid, and if it's not, then we're not going to be digesting protein correctly because you need a th uh, one to three pH acid in order to create an enzyme to digest protein, and then you're going to have issues with collagen and things like that. So if you're drinking eight alkaline water at number eight and nine on an ongoing basis, making your stomach alkaline when it's supposed to be acid, it's just it's not my deal, right? Um, the colon is supposed to be acid. Um, the blood is what's supposed to be alkaline and not even that crazy alkaline. And then you can't even really test for blood because it oxidizes and you have to have like advanced equipment. Nobody does. So it's like you have to go by symptoms. So it's pretty much, um, a myth that I don't really, t I don't really, um, like that much. I'm not saying distilled water is good. Supposedly that's acid. Maybe that's good for the stomach. I only drink water once a day, and then I drink juices, like my cucumber juice, for the rest of the day as my liquid. Or if I'm running and being very active, I'll do carrot and celery and green juice. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so... I'm not going to go into distilled water. That's like a whole other thing. And everybody, water is a very touchy topic. Many people have different beliefs on it. It's just drink clean water. And from my standpoint, distilled is the cleanest. It has the least amount of stuff in it. Years ago, I stopped eating dairy and gluten because of gut infections. It made a big difference, and I've lost some weight. How does what I do align or not with your suggestions about diet and health? Hope this makes sense. Okay, so gluten 
is like one of the major things that we want to eliminate. That's like a processed starch. So that's great. Um, eliminating dairy is good also. I'm saying if I were to go backwards, eggs would be the first thing, and then raw goat's milk products in small quantities. The dairy that's out there today has antibiotics, has all sorts of crazy things. So yes, it's probably really good that you eliminate dairy. What you did is probably really good, but are you eating refined sugar? Like we want to, that would be the next step if you, would be for you is to eliminate refined sugar. I'm not saying you have to eat dairy or anything like that. Why does it cost money to join spiritual dynamics? Does it get too crowded? Tell me because I want to join. Okay, so the for those of you who are just tuning in, um, we just launched, I'm doing Thursday night hangouts that cost $20 per month as for members. It's um, it's called, if you want to go join, you go to, I'm excited about it, spiritualhealthdynamics.com. Spiritual dynamic, yes, yeah, spiritualhealthdynamics.com. And you can join there. The reason why I'm doing that is because um, many years ago, I, I've been, okay, so when I started these hangouts, I've been trying to figure out what people like. If I talk too much about the spiritual, the numbers would go down. So then I went high hardcore into like science, talking about like pH and things like we're doing today. And the numbers jumped up like crazy. That's what, so I was, want, I was kind of moving with what people wanted. But for a very good period of my hangout history, I went deep into the spiritual aspects and there was a core group of people that really liked that. Um, and what happens also is when I start talking about spiritual aspects, um, there are a lot of outsiders who start thinking I'm cuckoo and crazy, kind of ruins my reputation. Um, they say bad things about me, they put it out there. So what I'm trying to do is I'm only trying to get serious people in there who are interested in spending $20 a month and to support what we're doing here. Um, and I'm gonna be completely 100% uncensored to the best of my ability. And um, I'm just gonna let loose because that's what everybody knows why we're there. I'm gonna talk about other things too, but I'm gonna continually go into that without stopping. Um, and it's for serious people who really wanna do it. Um, people get offended on many, even when I talk about physical health aspects, if I start talking about water, I'll probably get people offended. <laughs> so when you go into spiritual, it gets really insane. People get really offended with if you go against beliefs and stuff like that. So that's where I'm coming from with all this. And um, yeah, so every Thursday. So um, you can either sign up with PayPal or credit card at spiritual dynamic, spiritualhealthdynamics.com. Um, as long as there's 25 people, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Preferably 50. I haven't even looked, I just launched it today. I don't even know how many people signed up yet. So, um, but yes, I'm pretty certain that we're gonna be doing it every Thursday, starting this Thursday. It'll be a lot of fun. And if you can't be there every Thursday, members will be able to watch the replay. So they'll all be built up in there, all the replays, all the archives, it's all, it's all yours for whenever you want it. All right. I have paid for a member benefits program on Raw World, but the deep discount prices do not show up on the site. I've already emailed support a few times. Can you help advise? Would like to make some orders. Um, if you can email me or Facebook me, that would be the best. Um, Crystal, can you copy this entire comment with the person's name and email it to me, please? I am taking a two mat organocilica and my hair is past my bum now. <laughs> It really works and my nails are not chipping. That's awesome. Your nails are getting stronger from the silica. That's awesome. Look, can you also send that testimonial, um, Crystal, to me? You guys, if you, are if, you took, if you started taking this when we announced it two months ago for the first time, you're, gonna, you're probably now noticing your hair growing longer and faster than usual. I recommend everyone to do it for three to five months before giving up on it. Um, but I seriously wanna see I want people to tell me if they don't have results. I've not had anyone tell me that they haven't yet. So I want to know. But also, I haven't gotten many testimonials yet either, but it has only been two months. And you know, not everybody started two months ago. Some people only started a month ago. So please send in your testimonials so I can share them if it um, in pictures or whatever. <clears throat> what do you think about fermented foods? Probiotics all over the place and easy digestible. Um, yeah, I think it could be a very good thing. 
um, if you do, if you are lacking in probiotics and you have like um, some issues in your colon and the probiotics go to work too fast, um, you eat too much sauerkraut at first, and you haven't done anything like that recently, you might have major gas and it might not feel good, you might even like get right nose, so you might want to start slowly, you don't need crazy amounts, and is your sauerkraut loaded with salt, is it not loaded with salt, there's like so many factors there, are they using good salt, um, are you making your own sauerkraut, like, you know, but yeah, I think it could be a very good thing actually. Man, I'm blowing through it, I'm blowing through it, blowing through it everybody. Okay, I'm coming back to um, Facebook now. Here we go. Due to tendonitis in both arms, I cannot make juices at home. With smoothies in my Vitamix provide equivalent nutrition. It depends how, smoothies? Um, I'm a big fan of juicing versus smoothies, but yes, it's gonna do the job. I would say it would do the job. Are you using fruit? Again, that's cleansing. It has some vitamins and minerals, but the real good things are the vegetables. Um, I'm more of a fan of the juices, low glycemic vegetable juices. But carrots are good too. Okay, but yes, what you can also do, oh, it would be good with your tendonitis, is blend vegetables and then strain it in a nut milk bag. Are you familiar with Dr. Stephen Gertie's research on lectins in certain plants? I highly recommend his book. Cool. No, I haven't read that. Okay. I haven't been able to comment on Dig. My hair is growing again, finally, and I did a video on it. We'll be getting more. <laughs> okay, so Crystal, can you get this one too? Okay, so she has, this woman says, my hair is growing again, like screaming capitals, finally. And I did a video on it. I will be getting more. She's getting more organosilica from our website. Crystal, can you send that to me and try to find the video? You can grab her name and check on YouTube. I'm excited. Okay. Do you think that the frequency of one's body is the key? Do you think the frequency of one's body is the key to health? They say that raw foods are higher frequency foods since they got more sunlight energy. I'm wondering what your view on this matter is. Okay, so this is something we would talk about in the Thursday night hangouts. But frequency is definitely a very important thing in terms of health. For example, um, look at the concept of pessimistic versus optimistic. What feels better to be around, a pessimist or an optimist? Um, what if someone's angry all the time? Does that, see, does that frequency seem to be like a healthy frequency? Not really, it seems like they would get an ulcer. You could just like, it like has ulcer written all over it. This is how the spiritual is connected to the physical. So frequency is extremely important. And that's why this type of focus work is really important too in changing our frequency, trying to be better people. Spiritual is not going to an Eastern guru, trying to meditate and reach levels of getting glimpses of this hologram because you're meditating. It's like we want to change our frequency. We want to be better people. We want to be doing, we want to be good, do-gooders. Like uh, that's like our work. We want to like change our frequency to be the best that we can be and then you become healthier. That's probably, that's better than any diet you can possibly imagine. And as I'm always stating like, the shortcut to that type of thing is going direct to many people call it the source. Others people call it God. Other people call it the highest spirit of all, the highest power of all. Some people call it Jesus Christ, whatever you want to call it. That is like the shortcut to changing your frequency <laughs> and which helps our health and all sorts of things. But anyways, Go, we just launched spiritualhealthdynamics.com, um, $20 a month, join every Thursday we're going to be doing this, talking mainly about spiritual health on, on a spiritual, physical, emotional, and spiritual level. Um, you can watch the replays whenever you want. 
Um, right now, you can use the coupon code RAWFOOD7 for 7% 7 off. Everything is free shipping. We have our Gano Silica promo right now where you can get buy three, get one free, and it's at, at cost at 37% off when you do that, which is crazy. And you, if you want the gel, you can get the gel free instead of this. There's even another deal. If you buy seven bottles, you get one gel and one of these free, and it's a lower cost on top of that. Anyways, also November and October, that cost specials are going right now. We've got Coconut Secrets products, the liquid aminos, the vinegar. We've got freeze-dried durian, mangosteen, and jackfruit right now. I'm extremely excited for the durian. Um, right when I started enjoying it, I ran out. I take like put like nut milk. Sometimes I put chia in, sometimes I don't. And you put the freeze dried durian in, buy the kilo bag, they're smaller pieces, or you can buy the cans, which are bigger pieces, which are also fun. You put them in there, it's almost like marshmallows from Lucky Charms, but like way better. It's like cereal. But then you could add like goji berries, you can add superfoods. Um, you could add some like powders like mesquite or all sorts of things. And then I'll put like a bunch of cut up strawberries, cut up papaya in there. It's like cereal, man. I'm ex I got to wait in Ecuador to get this freeze dried durian before you have the opportunity to get it. Now be careful because not everybody likes durian. It's high sulfur content. And if you're not a raw food crazy dude like me, you might like it, you might not like it because it's very high sulfur. Some people say it smells like rotten eggs. Um, some people say it tastes bad, but it's like when you're like me and many people out there who are ordering it like crazy right now. It's almost like an addiction where you can't stop. Um, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, I hope you guys come and join the new Hangout. Uh, I'm excited to see how, where that goes. And don't forget about the contest. November 7th, which is two Tuesday nights from now, we're doing a Hangout where we're announcing three lucky winners. Anybody who orders from now until October 31st, you are entered automatically to win an all expenses paid retreat vacation here. And we're giving away 150 to 250 other prizes on, no on the November 7th hangout. That's two hangouts from now. Anything else? I think we're good to go. What a fun night! Non stop. Woohoo! Matt Monarch here at therawfoodworld.com. And uh, we'll see you next week. Mwah.